Do you need a little extra storage in your bedroom? Have you considered a bed with storage drawers? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this one. All this bed is is two two by four frames with some ends, some blocking drawers placed inside and a slat system. Eight years ago, I built these beds. They're for our cabin. For the storage, it's just a flip down. I've been thinking all these years, what if I add drawers? So I took these beds home and I'm gonna modify them to add drawers. DIY furniture is very upcycle friendly. I'm always modifying or reinventing pieces. I stripped this down to the two by four frame and I kept the ends. Now I'm just attaching a one by two cleat on the inside to put the slat system inside. This will just give the bed a cleaner, more modern look. Because we're doing drawers now, I'm going to make sure this bed is perfectly square. So I take opposite diagonals, make sure they match, and then adjust until they do. The two bed slats that are at the top and the bottom there, I'm screwing them down. This will secure the bed, making sure that it's square while I work on it. Out of square basically means that the bed has become more of a parallelogram than a rectangle. With the bed square, now I'm gonna throw the drawers in. I added some blocking and drew a level line on the inside. The trick with the drawer slides are to separate them and then put the screws right into the level line that you drew. I have a very detailed tutorial video on installing drawer slides. I'll leave that link in the description. I install all of my cabinet member drawer slides first. You can do drawers on both sides. I'm just doing one side. Next, I cut my drawer side material equal to the length of the drawer slide. Since I'm using 20 inch drawer slides, I cut all of my drawer sides to 20 inches long. I'm gonna install the cabinet member of the drawer slide to the drawer side. First, I'll kind of figure out where I want it and draw a level line. Then I'll attach the cabinet member of the drawer slide to the drawer side along the level line. The level line should be right in the center of all the holes. Next, I can put the drawer slides back together. With all of the drawer sides installed, now I can just measure in between the two drawer sides to get the correct measurement for the front and the back of the drawer. I like to attach at least the front in place with screws so I can test the drawer. And then when I'm happy with it, I can remove it and attach the back. I just use screws. You could use glue and nails or pocket hole screws on the outsides. I recommend testing your drawer one more time and then measuring, then cutting down the quarter inch plywood panel for the bottom. I cut my bottom with a table saw, but you could use a circular saw and a straight edge. Then I glued and nailed it onto the bottom with 5 8 inch brad nails. Before the glue dries, I test one more time. You want these drawers to slide really well, so let's make sure it's perfect before we progress. This plan is optimized for a 1x12 drawer face. I'm just reusing the existing 1x12 drawer face. Hold it up so there's an even gap around all edges and tack it in place with a brad nail or with a one and a quarter inch brad nail. And then I further secure from the inside with screws. The last step is the slat system. I already have the one by twos inset, so all I have to do is cut and set down some scrap wood one by threes and one by fours, and then attach it. Notice I screwed it to that center drawer support. I'll outline all this in the plans in great detail. After eight years of use, this bed was in pretty rough shape, so I filled all the holes, gave it a really good sanding with 120 grit sandpaper, and I'm gonna give it a fresh coat of paint. This warm gray is called Repost Gray by Sherwin-Williams. I just brushed it on several coats with a really fine sanding in between. The finish turned out beautiful. And I'm really happy with how the drawers slide. Well, there it is, sturdy, stylish, and storage, all in a two by four bed frame. The plans for this are free and they're linked in the description below. Thank you for using our plans. If you build, please tag, share, send in a photo. We love seeing your work. Thank you again.